Okay, so this is my next video of setting up steering wheel controls to open an app using the Joy-Con settings. So, first of all, those are not going to open an app, but these ones are, well, all but that one. So, source up, source down, program. So, I have those set, program up, Let's see if I can focus. A5, A4, A6, and then if you hold them up, down, it does that. So basically, I set each one, where's my mouse, here's my mouse. So I set that, there was a reason I set those both, <laughs> I can't remember the reason. Okay, there might not be a reason. That might have just happened when I was messing with stuff. Because I got six on multiple things. Okay. So, I'm going to undo all these and just start out fresh. Kind of sucks, but... that This way, you guys will be able to do this. Because I'm doing this on the fly. Because I just installed... The new ROM for Timar with fast charging and all that fun stuff. So let's see if I can. Why? Wow, I really wish I could do this quicker. I'm like not even looking at the computer screen, just doing it through my phone as I record. So basically, you set each button as an alt something. And why I'm doing this, I should also be downloading external keyboard helper. Since I do not have that on my tablet right now. Okay, that was, that's not right. Whoops. So. I'll just set up one button for you guys so you don't have to sit through the whole thing with me setting every button that's the that's the backup stuff I'm still gonna set up okay so let's see what shall we program how about the pro program button okay so that program button is going to be a six so I am going to set that A6. When I press A6, it presses Alt. Then it presses 1. What do I have this at? Wow. I have that all over the place. Okay, we're going to ignore that. <coughs> so, when I press Program, it presses <laughs> Alt. Okay, better yet, go up here. Alt 1. So then, when I hold it down, that is going to be Alt 2. I was going to warn you guys, this is probably going to be a long video. Because I it's been a while since I did this. So, let's save and apply that. It kind of sucks I deleted everything I had set up, but I don't remember the settings, so I gotta redo it. So we're gonna go over here. Um, I am gonna open up something that I have set to ask me to turn off my keyboard, like Google Chrome. I set a setting and then Tasker, wait a couple seconds ask me to shut off my input stuff which apparently I don't have my keyboards plugged in so it didn't work but as you saw in my other video if you go on settings you can turn off physical keyboard so I set it so I would just flick and then tap on the screen and it go away but that doesn't work once I download external keyboard helper which I probably should have my joy-con plugged in my tablet right now but I will plug it in after I start typing stuff because this is going to get messy because with that plugged in I can't use keyboard and all that good stuff 
So let's plug this. External. I can't type. External. Keyboard helper. Helper demo. I'm going to go with the demo because there are some glitches that causes this not to work as I would hope it would. So I'm going to wait till the developer incorporates this and whatnot. So we're going to download the demo. La 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 la. That's downloading. I'm going to plug in my Joy Con to my tablet. Okay. So now I got to go to my settings. Go to my settings. settings. Go to my input settings. Not backup input. Sorry that I am moving all over the place, but I cannot hold the camera steady. In wow, come on, come on. Turn off physical keyboard. Even though that won't matter once I enable the external keyboard as one of, as with this instead of English US AOSP. I got enable external keyboard helper right there that doesn't work then <laughs> that you can't turn that on and off it don't matter because he doesn't incorporate a virtual keyboard in his program that is where the problem is so you actually have to switch back to the English US keyboard to use a virtual keyboard on here which then that disables your steering wheel buttons that you have set up to open apps which we are about to do. Wow, that that probably made no sense. That's okay, because it didn't really make sense to me. But it's cool. So we gotta check that. Oh yeah, sure. Let's check out the settings. I don't really know what I want to do here, but whatever. So we're gonna open up this, and I'm gonna try to remember how to do this. So we're gonna choose my keyboard layout Let's see custom one custom one that's why I just clicked on if I went too fast <sighs> okay advanced settings let's go down to set device ID filter no nope, not that wrong button Oh, hot debugging. Okay. So, I'm going to press the program button on my steering wheel control and see what key it tells me. It's key 2. So, what I set that as, key 2, I think I set that as 1. So, if I ran over back over here, go to my keyboard layout, go to my generic file, I should have set that to always do that. Key 1 is two okay so now go back to this <clears throat> we are going to customize keyboard mapping add key mapping scan code I think that was two um, did I actually take that? I thought I typed two in there. No, don't go home. Seven, eight. Oh, shoot. I gotta get ready for snowboarding class. Change. Two. Okay, that doesn't push button is readable uh... maybe click program that's not right either wow well okay basically i want to set that as two so i got sorry about this I 
doing it on the fly. Um, I got a Bluetooth little mini keyboard I use, so I'm gonna pull that out right now. So turn my keyboard on. It's gonna hopefully connect very quickly. I'll turn the lights on on it. And it popped up all crazy over here. Okay, so go back there, add key. This key is going to be key two, I believe. Okay, that's that, that. Okay, I guess I'm. I gotta actually put the key. Push the key. The problem is that I can't press the steering wheel button because it's reading the alt, so it won't take it. And then um, set. You want to set the normal. Okay, you don't want to set that as anything, I guess. But I don't know which one of these are you supposed to use, so I'm just going to go A, 1, A, 1, and I'm going to save that. So I named it that as A1, but that, I save, that automatically saved as some file. That is going to be what I'm going to open when I press this button. So go back application shortcuts so a1 is it going to pop up with all my programs and I'm going to set that as what do I want to set that as I think apex launcher let me look through this real quick and make sure that's what I want I think that's what I want I'll go with apex launcher because I want that button to take me home. So now, if I go back to customize keyboard shortcut, it shows the little icon for my Apex launcher, which it won't focus, but that is what that did. So, I think I have it set up as external keyboard helper. So let me open, open that up. So it goes there. It has set as custom one to read your custom keyboard layout, which it won't focus, so I can't show you. I press program button on my steering wheel control. Hopefully it takes me home. It didn't. I had problems with this before. I don't remember what I did. <clears throat> maybe I... Maybe I... I don't know. What if I go back, press one? Not my nope. Okay. Just a second. Let me press Alt one, Alt one on my Bluetooth keyboard. No, that didn't work yet. Because I don't have that set as external keyboard helper. Okay. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shut off my Bluetooth keyboard. This is kind of a pain. I'm in a hurry because I gotta get ready to go snowboarding for class. So I'm gonna unplug my Joy-Con. I'm gonna plug my Joy-Con back in. I think what I didn't do is I didn't set the keyboard layout for my Joy-Con as what they want it. So hopefully it pops up and it's gonna be like, oh, do you wanna use Android keyboard? Do you wanna turn off physical keyboard? Do you wanna use external keyboard helper? Or it might not do that. So I'm going to go with my settings. My settings. Going to go to input. We're going to go down. There you go. External keyboard helper. That's what you need to change. So now, I press program. Hopefully it takes me home. Oh, look at that. It took me home. So, that... I, I was gonna set up the other button. I was gonna hold, press, change the press and hold it. But basically, if you go down in a line, it's gonna be pretty simple. So you go to advanced settings. So I set that on my Joy-Con program on my computer. I set it so if you held down the button, it would be um, number two but actually that is key three. So all you would do is you would change that scan code to key three 
and you would change those that was A1 and A1 because I don't remember which one to use but you would change that to A2 A2 and then you would save it and you would go back and you would go to application shortcuts and these this is where your A1 and A2 is so you would set A2 to your next app that you want to open so I hope that that kind of clarifies that but well, um, I'll show you real quick the problem with using this program to open apps. Well, how about real quick? If I go in there, I change the application. I'm gonna replace it with a different app just to show you guys. Oh, uh, I don't know. What do you want to open? How about Chrome? Oh, I said to open Chrome. So now I'm gonna press the program button. It's gonna open Chrome. Oh, look at that Chrome. So, there. Technically, that's an app that it opened. But the problem is, if you go to settings, you go to your input, you go to default, and remember how we turned this off in my first video? Turn it off. Okay. That is still up. Go down here. Oh, I want to type here. Oh, wait. There's no keyboard. I, but I turned it off. See, he doesn't have a virtual keyboard programmed in to his layout. So you actually have to go in here. You have to change that back to Android. So, I mean, it's just extra work. But you get to have buttons on your steering wheel that opens apps. So if, some, if you could adjust it so you have your keyboard, even just a basic keyboard so I can type stuff in, it'd be great. But that's that. I gotta go. I gotta go snowboard. Um, if you got any questions, just leave a comment, send me a message. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry this video was so long. Hopefully I can upload it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to cut it.